Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making gluten-free almond sesame seed crackers. I'm going to be using Bob's Red Mill, almond meal flour, some sea salt, an egg, sesame seeds, and coconut oil. I'll put the recipe down below with all the measurements. I measure the dry ingredients into a large bowl and mix them together. And then in a smaller bowl, I'm whisking the egg with the coconut oil. I mix the oil and the egg in with the dry ingredients. I used a fork to mix it all together to form a dough. Make sure that all the dry ingredients got mixed in to the dough. Now we're going to place this on top of a baking mat. Form your dough into a ball using your hands. Take either wax paper or another silk hat liner and place it on top. I'm going to just push it down a little bit and then I'm going to use a rolling pin to roll it out. As you're rolling it out, you'll notice it'll start to not form a solid edge. So I just take off the top mat and I just push it back in. I'm going to place the mat back on top and roll it out again. Get it as square as possible. This dough is very easy to work with. Several times I had to stop just to reshape it and re-roll it out again. So it's almost there. That's about as even as I can get my crackers. Now I'm going to use a butter knife to score them. You don't want to cut into the baking mat. Cut the crackers any size that you'd like. I cut my crackers four by six. My oven is now preheated. They're going to go in for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. The crackers took 15 minutes. After 10 minutes, I rotated the pan so that it cooked as evenly as my oven could do. So they are golden brown around the edges. I'm going to let them cool for a few minutes and then move them onto the wire rack. So I have these cooling on the wire rack. I've decided to cook the middle ones an extra minute to get them a little bit more golden brown. I mean, they're cooked, but they don't have the nice golden brown color. I did the middle pieces approximately two more minutes. This is about as golden brown as I can get them. Hubby and I each tried one. They taste really good and super easy gluten-free cracker. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.